The extent of reaction is a parameter which, like fractional conversion, measures how far the reaction has proceeded. It is defined as the number of moles coming out minus the number of moles coming in divided by the stoichiometric coefficient. So this is pronounced as xi, but usually we will refer to it as squiggle. So our stoichiometric coefficient is that of species i, and it has the units of moles. So nu is negative for reactants and positive for products. We can also use this expression as a flow rate, but the quantity still remains unitless. So for any reaction, the extent of reaction stays the same. What determines the number of moles coming out is the stoichiometric coefficient. So let's look at a simple example. So A plus 2B goes to 3C. So that's our reaction. And let's say that coming into our reactor, we have 2 moles of A and 5 moles of B. And A is completely converted. Therefore, no moles of A are going to exit. So what we do have exiting is some number of moles of B and some number of moles of C. And what we want to know is the number of moles of B and C that exit. So we can write our extent of reaction equation in terms of the exiting species. So the number of moles of I that exit is equal to the number of moles of I that are fed plus the stoichiometric coefficient of I times the extent of reaction or squiggle. So let's write out our equations. So for species A, coming out, we have zero moles, and that's going to equal the two moles that came in minus, because this is a reactant, one, which is the stoichiometric coefficient, again, in units of moles times our extent of reaction. We do the same for B. So this is what comes out, and again, it's in moles, is equal to what came in, which is 5 moles minus 2 moles, the stoichiometric coefficient, times our squiggle. And again, it's negative because it is a reactant. And finally, for C, we have the number of moles of C that exit. Now coming in, we have 0 moles. And because it's a product, it's plus 3, and again, the stoichiometric coefficient, times our squiggle. So based on equation A, we can find that squiggle is equal to 2. And substituting that value in the other equations, we get that n sub b is equal to 1 mole, and n sub c is equal to 6 moles. So you can probably do this without using extent of reaction, but more complicated examples where you don't have complete conversion of a species or you have more than one reaction make this method invaluable.